Hey guys, what is up? This is Cody. Or Xcode. How's it going today? Hopefully everybody watching this video is having yourself a snazzy day. Let me know in the comments down below where you're watching the video from inside or outside of the United States. I would love to know. Today's video is one of the scariest moments of my entire life. Like this was probably the closest to death that I've ever been. If any of you guys have seen any of the hiking videos that I've made, the topic on there is usually me being afraid of, oh, is that a bear in the woods? Is that a bear? And I'm assuming a lot of the paranoia in those videos is either me being stoned or PTSD from this experience. This story took place back when I was in high school. I was maybe a sophomore in high school, so maybe the second year. And this was the only time that I've ever tried to grow that sticky icky, that, that fine pine. I ended up buying a clone from my redneck friend that's in a ton of my old stories. I remember he showed up to my buddy's house with a plant that was like about this tall. It looked and smelled phenomenal. I can't even express to you just rubbing the stem, smelling your fingers. Holy moly, what a fantastic smell. I cannot wait until I have the opportunity to actually start growing myself one day. The day I get my own place, that is happening 100%. A couple weeks previous to this, we had tried to like buy some grow tents from Walmart and buy some random fertilizer. It was so funny when we went to the hardware store, we went up to the cashier and I uh, was like, Hey, I'm looking for some soil. Any, anything you recommend? And he looks at me and he's like, yeah, sure. What are you growing? And I just look at my friend like, and he looks at me like, dude, t t tomatoes, tomatoes. That's what we're trying to grow. And the guy behind the counter is like, oh, Tomatoes, huh? It was probably one of the most awkward interactions I've ever had at a cash register. But the guy was down. He knew exactly what we were trying to do. He directed us to the right stuff and everything, but we ended up just having bag seeds. Basically seeds that you find in weed and, and seeds you find in bags, from what I've heard and gathered online, typically aren't what you're looking for. You kind of want to buy them in seed packs and not just from seeds and shitty bud that you find. But at the time, we didn't have the means. We were kind of broke. We didn't have $60 to go and spend. And well, we had the 60 bucks, but we'd probably just buy more weed in McDonald's or something. So the first two or three weeks, we actually had a little bit of success. The, gr the plants grew up, but we had them in tents outside. The wind wasn't getting to them. They were flopping all over the place. Just an absolute failure. Absolute failure. So my redneck friend offered to come on over. He was Mr. Green Thumb. Had this beautiful, beautiful clone, beautiful plant. Like I said, about this tall. I think I bought it off him for $40. Let me know if I got ripped off. I don't know how I don't know how much these things go for, but just the beauty alone was worth the 40 bucks. The stem was nice and thick. You could tell it was really, really healthy. He even gave us this bottle of uh, I think he would call it bat guavo or bat guano. I think it was literally just bat shit juice. Something about that, man. Something about it. I'll tell you one thing. We started using that. We planted that thing in the back and it shot up like a fucking weed, dude, like an actual weed. So what we ended up doing is in the backyard of my buddy's house, if you kept going down this dirt path that kind of led to a swamp area, like a wetlands area, we dragged a couple pallets back there, kind of so it was off of the ground, still in like the swampy, muddy area, and then we just put a bunch of plants there, and man, that thing thrived right there. There was like a perfect spot in the trees where the sun would come down. I was pouring this bat shit juice in there every day and it just shot up like a fucking magic beanstalk, man. In no time, this thing was six feet tall. Every single day that I'd sleep over my buddy's house, I'd wake up at five in the morning. The sun's just coming up, the crisp air, go outside with the 22 inch straight shot bong that we had, get fucking blasted and then just go and talk with the plants, man. It was one of my favorite things to do ever. And that's exactly what I did on this day. I woke up super early, five in the morning, packed a fat bong, get nice and stony, pass it to my other friend who had insomnia. He'd always be awake at five in the morning watching American Dad or something. Every single day like clockwork, he would just be watching American Dad. Like I'd open my eyes, American Dad. So I go outside, the birds are chirping. It is just an amazing day. I got a pip in my step. I'm fucking excited to go and look at the progress of the plants. The, the big one, man, had been shooting up so fast and every day there'd be huge progress on it, new leaves, and I was just patiently waiting 
to know if it's going to be a female or a male. I was praying that it was female. I just wanted one successful plant. I didn't give a shit about all the other ones because they were just flopping all over the place. I knew they weren't going to succeed, but you know, I was going to put them back there anyways to see what would happen. I walk all the way down to this path that leads to like the wetlands area with the pallet raised up off the ground. There they are, dude. The magical plants. I was sitting there listening to Cushion Orange Juice on my shitty Sprint Rumor slide phone. Those were the days, huh? There's nothing like low quality music coming out of an old Android phone. I remember looking at the plant, giving it the little rub, smelling it. Oh my lord. So, just the skunkiest, most nature smell in the world. You know, talking to him a little bit. Hey buddy, how's it going? What's up, dude? You growing a little bit? Oh, guest, guest appearance. Look at this guy. Listen to that V8. I must have been out there for 10, 15 minutes, just chilling, looking at the plants and all their beauty. I could sit there and look at weed plants for hours, man. It's truly something I'm passionate about. And unfortunately in my living situation currently, I can't grow, but at my buddy's house, it was a free for all, dude. We didn't have any large scale operation or anything. We just had like five shitty plants with one really good one that I was really hoping it was going to go far and give us like an ounce of butt. Even if it just gave us one ounce or less or something, that's all I was hoping for. And I'm just sitting there admiring the beauty and I hear some big crunches in the woods. The danger crunches, the crunch, the type of crunch that you know is not a squirrel. The type of crunch that sends shivers down your spine. I whip my head around, and what do I see? The biggest bear I've ever seen in my life. This bear was so big, it must have been pregnant. Like, this thing was chunky. And I am sitting there absolutely frozen in fear because I am trapped where I am currently. I'm gonna give you guys a visual of what exactly I'm talking about. I'm right here chilling on the pallets up on, up on the wetlands there is only one way back to my buddy's house and the path the bear is on crosses this path so there's no option if i were to start walking back towards my friend i would have to get within 15 feet of the bear i don't think my heart has ever raced this fast i didn't know what to do i was absolutely fucking stun locked i remember making eye contact with the bear and I'm just praying, okay, just turn around, just turn around, and it just starts sniffing the air. It starts sniffing the air directly at me, and just starts getting closer and closer. No hesitation, no fear. I'm just a fucking human. This thing is like a, basically an SUV of a unit, just getting closer and closer. Now I'm just in full panic mode. What do I, what could I possibly do? Do I run back to my buddy's house and hopefully Hopefully it doesn't chase me. That's the last thing you're supposed to do when you come across a bear. You're supposed to just make loud noises and get really big. You think I had that kind of fucking confidence? I was stun locked. I was absolutely terrified. My fight or flight instinct kicked in and I'm thinking, okay, where the fuck am I gonna go? I, I turn around to the back of the pallet that goes further into the woods. And if I took one step off the pallet, it would have been fucking three feet of mud. So I'm thinking, oh my God, if I go, if I go back into the swamp, I'm going to get stuck. And then the bear is going to come and maul me because I'm stuck in the mud. And then I turn around and I start to walk down the path a little bit towards the house. And the bear just keeps getting closer and closer to me, sniffing the air. It, maybe it likes the way I smell. Maybe it likes the way the weed smell. Maybe it wants to get baked with me. I don't know what the intentions of this bear was. All I could think, all I could think was, oh my God, I'm breakfast for the bear. Here I am, about to die. This was one of the only times in my life where I was like, wow, I am about to fucking die. And not just die, die the worst way possible. I think the only thing worse than this is probably burning alive in the bronze bowl. Should look that shit up, it's fucking terrifying. So my last, my absolute last resort on the list of ideas that I could come up with in the matter of 10, 15 seconds was to spam call my friend. But the thing is, there was zero service at this dude's house. I used to flip bud there all the time, 
and whenever I had to communicate with anybody, I would have to go out to his driveway, hold the phone up to the sky to pray that a text message would go through. If I wanted to make a call, I'd have to walk all the way to the end of the driveway or go upstairs and ask to use the home phone. I take my phone out just praying that I could get one, I had one bar of service to manage to call this dude. I spam dial the number, I call it, and it starts ringing. It's a Christmas miracle. It starts ringing and the dude picks up second or third ring. I know insomnia is an absolute bitch and I fucking feel for anybody watching that suffers with it, but God bless it. God bless it in this situation. God bless that my friend was awake at five in the morning. He picks up the phone like, what? What do you want, dude? And I'm like, oh my God, dude, there's a fucking bear. Please come outside. Holy fuck, there's a bear. I wish I had an audio recording of my voice. It was like that times 10 voice cracking. Absolute terror. And what does my buddy do? What does the homie of the day do? He comes out, bursts out of the fucking basement door in his boxers. Five in the morning. It's kind of cold outside. Five in the morning flailing his arms like crazy, screaming at the top of his lungs, straight at the bear, barbarian style. This guy had maximum confidence, just straight at the bear, screaming, and the bear ran away, dude. He saved my life. There was no other option. If I kept walking back towards the house, I would have had to fucking meet the bear before I got to the house. Because you're not supposed to run. You're supposed to just walk away. You're not a threat to the bear, especially if there's a cub around. You want to stay the fuck away from the cub. As soon as the bear started running in the other direction, full sprint to the house. Full sprint. I'm like, dude, dude, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh man, we got inside and I look at my buddy with almost tears in my eye. And I was like, thank you so much for saving my life, dude. That was absolutely terrifying let's smoke some weed we went bowl after bowl dude we probably smoked an eighth this morning straight out of the straight shot 22 inch sb fucking bong we used to call it the truth because bitches can't handle the truth i miss that bong so much dude i sold it to someone and then their parents broke it a week later rest in peace there's only been one other time where i felt this close to death like i actually saw my life flash before my eyes and that was when I was trying to swim across a river and then got caught in two different currents. I was like spinning around in circles. The water was weighing down. It felt like the water was weighing down my cargo pockets in my shorts. I felt like I had rocks in my pants. I was going underneath the water. I'll have to make a whole video talking about that because genuine terror. Bears are absolutely terrifying. I, I've, I've never heard of a bear attack where I live. I see probably maybe 30 bears a year. They love just digging through trash and stuff. That's really all they do. They just dig through people's trash, make a huge mess. I remember seeing <laughs> I remember seeing a bear in the woods line, like right, right before a mountain. It was just sitting there with a fucking metal tray, like a like a tinfoil tray of lasagna. It was like a typical scene in a movie or like an old cartoon or something. Just a big, big ass fat bear chomping on some lasagna so luckily they're not very aggressive but i have never had an experience with a bear like this where the bear saw me we made eye contact it sniffs the air like it fucking found something to eat and just kept creeping closer and closer to me the homie saved my life i truly truly believe that this bear was was out to kill it was out to get the it had the munchies bro maybe it chomped up some of the plants previously and it was just fucking stony baloney waiting for that meal. And I was it, dude. I was entree number one. Realistically, I think the bear might have gotten kind of close to me. And then maybe I maybe I would have tried to yell and it would run away. But I was stunlocked. I didn't know what to do. My buddy came out, arms flailing, saved the day, dude. What a homie. Before this video ends, I want to say a huge thank you to everybody supporting me on Patreon. I'll put a list of all the names on screen right now. Huge thank you to everybody on screen. The support really helps me out. For a dollar or two a month, you can support the channel and get access to the secret, uncensored smoking videos that I've been making over on Patreon. I've been having a ton of fun making those, and I'm very grateful for your support. Thanks again. You can check the link in the description for more information. Please tell me any stories that you have 
hopefully you guys don't have stories about this, but please tell me any stories you have uh, involving bears or any, any wildlife that you run into in the woods. I'm looking forward to hearing your guys' stories and I'm glad that you survived it, all right? <laughs> Hopefully nobody watching this video is ever in a similar situation, and I fucking pray to God that I never am in this situation again. Bears absolutely scare the shit out of me. Before this video ends, check out what a bear looks like without any fur. Is it is it as scary as what you thought it would be? I don't, it's like a giant mole rat, like a radiated mole rat from Fallout 3. I'm looking forward to replying to a bunch of comments. Please leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. And thank you for spending the time out of your day to watch my video. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Stay high, stay lifted, and stay snazzy.